Elon Musk reveals the Tesla Optimus AI humanoid robot. While Elon Musk showed off Tesla's humanoid AI robot for the first time, he stated that the robot will pose a significant contribution towards progress in artificial intelligence, autonomous driving, and artificial general intelligence, also known as AGI. Musk said the Tesla Optimus robot's current iteration has the ability to move all of its fingers independently, with thumbs that move with two degrees of freedom, allowing it to carry out a myriad of real-world tasks. The robot is being designed to be produced at high volumes with a price point of less than $20,000. Tesla's humanoid robot features 28 structural actuators with 11 degrees of freedom in its hands and supports Wi-Fi and LTE, running at 52 volts. The team intends to reduce the cost of the robot and increase its efficiency over time in order to enable production at scale by reducing their part count and power consumption. To achieve this, they will minimize the wire count in the arms and locate its compute and power distribution hardware to the physical center of the robot. In the middle of the robot's torso will be the battery pack, which will hold 2.3 kilowatt hours to complete roughly 8 hours of work on a single charge. The battery pack has a single print circuit board within the pack to take care of sensing, charge management, and power distribution. Tesla plans to use its supply chain, autopilot software and hardware for the Tesla Optimus robot. This will allow the robot to process vision data, make split-second decisions using multisensory inputs, and carry out communications, including audio support and hardware-level security to protect both the robot and humans in its vicinity. The robot employs a form of Tesla's autopilot, using its neural networks for computer vision to achieve volumetric depth rendering of objects, as well as make an estimation of its local environment to navigate towards its charging station, for instance. The robot's locomotion planning is carried out in three different stages, first by calculating its desired path, then planning its footsteps across that path, and finally by calculating the reference trajectory. Using state estimation and sensors, the robot tracks its central mass trajectory in order to give the robot the ability to walk steadily, despite dynamic changes in terrain or balancing scenarios. In terms of the robot being able to manipulate objects in the real world naturally, they first generated a library of natural motion references using motion capture, and then adapted those motions to current real-world situations, such as picking up an object. In order to generalize variations of motions in the real world depending on object location, they ran the various reference trajectories through a reference trajectory optimization program to solve for where the hands move and how the robot should balance while adapting to a given situation. The Tesla robot's hands are ergonomically designed to grasp objects like a human hand would in order to easily and efficiently function inside of a factory environment. The hands have sensory feedback and adaptability for new objects, with six actuators, 11 degrees of freedom, and non-back drivable fingers with the power to carry a 20-pound bag. The robot's actuators come in six unique designs across 28 separate joints, including three rotary actuators and three linear actuators with multiple sensors, all with extremely impressive output force. In fact, the actuators are so powerful that they can lift a half-ton grand piano, which is a requirement, as human muscles are also capable of this similar force. The structural foundation of the robot is extremely strong, being built to easily weather falls without breaking actuators or requiring expensive maintenance, so it can continue working as normal. They have run the model through extensive simulations using Tesla's crash software to create stresses in all of the components to design them to be as resilient as possible. They even designed the robot's joints after human joints to similarly be able to generate maximized torque from a bent position, while minimizing force in order to conserve energy consumption. Overall, Tesla is off to an impressive start with the Optimus robot, but it says they are going to begin optimizing the robot for real-world tasks in their factories to automate increasing numbers of operating processes over the next months and years. So far, Tesla's Optimus robot features a level of artificial intelligence that currently isn't present in other leading robotics companies, such as Boston Dynamics. Furthermore, Elon Musk mentioned that there is a level of democracy involved with the robot and its overall operations, as Tesla shareholders can vote with their shares to alter the trajectory of the robot and its design or implementation. The Tesla robot is expected to provide economic output capable of reaching two orders of magnitude more than that of humans currently, but there is still a great deal of work ahead, as the model shown is only the first iteration of the robot. 
Tesla's ultimate goal is to make so many Optimus robots that the global economy becomes quasi-infinite, leading to a future of abundance and abolishing poverty. Because of the ability of these humanoid robots to perform work tasks in the place of humans, they could quickly start saving humans from having to perform dangerous or backbreaking tasks. Breakthrough Make a Video Text-to-Video AI System from Meta Meta, formerly known as Facebook, has unveiled its new artificial intelligence system called Make a Video, which allows people to transform text prompts into short, high-quality video clips. Make a Video is a continuation of the recent advances from Meta in generative AI research and has the potential to create new opportunities for creators as well as artists. The new artificial intelligence model builds on recent advances in text-to-image generation technology to facilitate their text-to-video generation. To learn about the world and its descriptions, the AI system uses images with descriptions, and to learn how the world moves, it uses unlabeled video. By doing this, Make a Video AI allows a user to bring their imagination to life by creating unique, whimsical videos with just a text prompt. It can create unique videos that are full of vibrant colors, characters, landscapes, and other details. It can even create videos from existing images or create similar videos from existing videos that are given to it. Meta says they are committed to developing responsible artificial intelligence by ensuring safe use of the state-of-the-art video generation technology. So in order to reduce harmful, misleading, and biased content, their research adheres to the following steps. First, the neural network analyzes millions of data points to gain insight into the world, and then Meta applies filters to minimize the possibility of generating harmful content. Second, because Make a Video is able to create videos that look real, they add a watermark to all videos, which is intended to let viewers know that the video was created with AI and is not a recorded video. Third, while they hope to make the technology widely accessible to the public soon, until then, they will continue to thoroughly analyze and test their artificial intelligence model to ensure that each step of the release is safe. Finally, Make a Video uses publicly accessible datasets, giving their research an additional level of transparency. Meta says they are sharing information openly in a research paper, and they plan to release a demonstration experience as part of an ongoing commitment to open science. Generative AI research encourages creativity by giving people the tools to create new content quickly and easily. Make a Video is a follow-up to Meta's earlier announcement of Make a Scene, which is a multimodal generative AI method that gives users more control over the AI-generated content they create. Meta demonstrated with Make a Scene how users can create photorealistic illustrations as well as storybook-quality art by using words, lines, or even freeform sketches. Meta stated that it's important to think carefully about how new generative AI systems are created and they will continue to use the responsible AI framework to further the refinement and evolution of the emerging technology.